Revising Atoms and Elements, Part 3. What is a compound? To understand the difference between elements and compounds, we first need to understand what a molecule is. A molecule is the smallest bit a material or substance can be broken down into. For example, if I had a great big cloud of hydrogen gas, inside that cloud would be billions and billions and billions of hydrogen atoms. Because it's a gas, the bonds between the atoms are fairly weak, so they're all floating around in different places. However, they are not travelling around on their own. When hydrogen atoms are behaving as a gas, they always travel around in pairs. So two hydrogen atoms bond together. This means that the smallest bit of hydrogen is actually made up of two atoms, a molecule of hydrogen is made up of two hydrogen atoms. Now that's quite a lot to write when we're writing it out, so being scientists we like to make our lives a bit easier. Hydrogen has the symbol capital H, and because there are two of them, we're going to put a small two down here, not a large two and not a floating two. This then is the formula for a molecule of hydrogen. Let's do another example. Up here, I'm going to have my nice glass of water. Now, water, a lot of you will already know its formula. It's called H2O. So we can already see which atoms go into making up water. In a smallest bit of water, we're going to have some hydrogen atoms and we're going to have some oxygen atoms. So let's put those in there. Now, in water, two hydrogen atoms are needed for every oxygen atom. And that's going to make one molecule up. So in between these, I'm going to put their little bonds in so those two hydrogens can have that oxygen, and those two hydrogens can have that oxygen, and those two hydrogens can have that oxygen. And then because it's water, they tend to stay fairly close to each other. There are no extra hydrogen atoms or oxygen atoms. Anything that didn't join up as two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom just didn't become water. So a molecule of water is made up of three atoms. Now obviously we need lots and lots and lots of molecules just to get a single drop of water. But if we broke that drop down to the smallest bit to its molecule, we'd find three atoms in each molecule. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So what's the difference between an element and a compound? Well, as we said last time, when we were looking at the Lego constructions, elements are things that are made out of only one type of atom. So in this case, hydrogen. Hydrogen is an element because a single molecule of hydrogen is only made out of hydrogen atoms. Water is a compound. because a single molecule of water is made up of a mixture of different atoms. We've got hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. Okay, let's do a few more and we'll see how you get on. Is this an element or a compound? Carbon dioxide. Well, to know whether it's a chemical or, an, or a compound without having to search the periodic table, we go to its formula. So carbon dioxide is 
written C-O-2. Well, there's a capital letter, so that has to be an element. And there's a capital letter, so that has to be an element. So we've got two different elements mixed together. That means a molecule of carbon dioxide is a compound. How many atoms make up one molecule of carbon dioxide? Well, we've got one C and we've got two oxygens. So all in all, three atoms get mixed together to make a molecule of carbon dioxide. So it is a compound with three atoms in it. Let's try another one. What about oxygen? The formula for oxygen is O2. There's a capital letter. And that's it. Only one type of atom in that molecule. So oxygen is an element. How many atoms in each molecule of oxygen? Two. So two oxygen atoms join together to make a molecule of oxygen. Not all elements travel around in pairs, though. Some elements can be entirely on their own or can join together in different ways. Sulfur is an element, and you can make molecules of sulfur that have eight atoms in them. So the formula is S8. What about bigger molecules? Let's clear this off and try a couple more. Let's look at sulfuric acid. Can you remember the rhyme that teaches you the formula for sulfuric acid? Let's say it over quickly. Johnny had a little drink. Now Johnny is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. Compound or element? Well, we can see it's got lots of different types of atoms in it, so it's a compound. How many atoms in each molecule, though? Well, we've got two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atoms. So all in all, we need seven atoms to make one molecule of sulfuric acid. So an element is anything where there's only one type of atom in each molecule. A compound is where there's a mixture of atoms in each molecule. And you can tell which atoms make up a molecule by looking at its formula. End of part three.